I'm Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Sack, Commanding Officer of the Division of Criminal Investigation. On Wednesday, January 26, 2022, the St. Louis County Police Department Crimes Against Persons Unit was asked to conduct an investigation into an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the city of Ferguson, leaving two St. Louis Metropolitan Police officers injured and one suspect deceased. At approximately 12.52 p.m., the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department received a 911 call from a citizen reporting four suspicious subjects wearing ski masks sitting in a white Toyota 4Runner in the 800 block of River Trail Court in the city of St. Louis. A short time later, three St. Louis Metropolitan Police officers arrived on scene in two separate, fully marked police vehicles. As the officers pulled into the apartment complex, they observed the reported suspicious vehicle. Officers immediately recognized that the vehicle was wanted in connection with a homicide that occurred overnight in the city of St. Louis. At approximately 1.13 p.m., the white forerunner fled from the officers traveling northbound on Riverview Boulevard. Responding officers activated their emergency equipment in an attempt to pull over the speeding vehicle. The driver did not comply and a pursuit began. From northbound Riverview, the vehicle fled west onto Jennings Station Road at a high rate of speed while officers continued to pursue. The suspect vehicle continued traveling westbound on Jennings Station Road, crossing into oncoming traffic lanes, ignoring numerous traffic signals, and endangering other drivers. At one point, near the intersection of West Florissant and Lucas and Hunt Road, the suspect vehicle left the roadway out of the view of officers. The vehicle re-entered the roadway with at least one flat tire, but continued to flee. At approximately 1.18 p.m., with four flat tires, the driver lost control of the vehicle and came to a stop at the intersection of West Florissant Avenue and Lang Drive in the city of Ferguson. Four individuals got out of the vehicle and ran. At least one subject picked up a handgun as he ran from the vehicle. All three St. Louis Metropolitan Police officers exited their vehicles and gave chase. They were subsequently fired upon by one suspect. The officers returned fire. <coughs>
Needed a 1318. Dispatch, we need an address. Take this in. Cars here, secure our cars. Section. All cars, officer needed a Northwood Estates, 1319. 326. 6 Fulton County, Ohio. Where are you at? 626, what's the address? Five two eight. We're behind the county officer now. We'll give an address as soon as possible. Five two eight. That's good. Thank you. We have county in route. Also EMS in route. Of all officers, okay. We need an ambulance. Two officers. That's good. We have EMS in route. We're going to start a second one. Six zero one sixteen hundred. Two of those officers were injured by shots fired from the suspect. The officer who returned fire struck the suspect multiple times. Arriving officers and first responders rendered first aid to the injured officers and suspect. The officers and suspect were transported to area hospitals for life-saving treatment. One St. Louis Metropolitan Police officer suffered multiple gunshot wounds and was hospitalized in critical condition for several days following the shooting. The second officer sustained a single gunshot wound. He was treated and later released. The third officer was not injured. Despite the work of first responders and medical staff, the suspect, now identified as Equan Hobson, age 23 of the 5900 block of Lucille Avenue in St. Louis, later died of his injuries at an area hospital. Aside from Mr. Hobson, two additional suspects were taken into custody by responding officers after a foot pursuit. August Burns, age 23, of the 1800 block of Notting Hill Row in Florissant, was charged by the St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office with unlawful possession of a firearm and resisting arrest. Clyde Thomas, age 35, of the 5500 block of Highway 32 in Farmington, Missouri, was charged with resisting arrest. On March 11, 2022, the fourth suspect, Johnny Lewis, age 23, of the 800 block of Canaan Avenue in St. Louis, was arrested by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department in Las Vegas, Nevada. Lewis was charged by the St. Louis County prosecuting attorney with resisting arrest by fleeing, creating a substantial risk of serious injury or death. In total, the pursuit lasted four minutes and 16 seconds. A nine millimeter Glock 43X pistol attributed to Mr. Hobson was located near him on scene. A 12 gauge shotgun was recovered near the suspect vehicle, along with an ammunition carrier worn by Mr. Burns when he was arrested. Mr. Burns admitted to possessing the shotgun while inside the vehicle. Mr. Hobson fired the pistol until it was empty. Three recovered shell casings were forensically matched to the pistol attributed to Mr. Hobson. In total, 34 shots were fired by law enforcement. The St. Louis Metropolitan Police officers involved in this incident are 28 years of age with two and a half years law enforcement experience. 
25 years of age with three and a half years law enforcement experience and 27 years of age with one and a half years law enforcement experience. The body-worn cameras assigned to the responding St. Louis Metropolitan Police officers were not recording. Metropolitan Police Department received a 911 call from a citizen reporting four suspicious subjects wearing ski masks sitting in a white Toyota 4Runner 